X-Star EP45. People have been asking for this. Let's take a few shots here. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the X-Star EP45. As I mentioned, people have wanted the additional calibers with the X-Star models. They have the EP9 that is so popular, budget priced, excellent performing, AR-like pistol. It does have the AR-like controls and there are four differences from this compared to the EP9, the Gen 2 models. Now, this is very lightweight. All polymer lower, polymer upper, 6.5 inch barrel. It has a flash can on there. It has a M-lock slot, polymer handguard, rail on top, and an overall very nice package. What are the four differences? Well, we'll start with the magazine that they include. Now, if you recall, the Gen 2 EP9 has a X-Star mag, 18 round X-Star mag. This ships with a Glock 21 mag, 13 rounds of 45 ACP. A lot of people excited about that, and I am as well. The nine millimeter EP9 has a B5 Systems grip. This has an X-Star grip, all right? Nice texturing on there. Feels great in the hand. It does not include a brace, but it has this rubber coating over the buffer tube, which is really nice. Feels good. I don't mind shooting with my, my cheek wedged up against the buffer tube because that's how I remember shooting before the braces were even around. And then the last one is that it's 45 ACP. Outside of that, if you just do a quick look, you'd see the exact same type of platform. Uh, another difference, however, is the MSRP is 50 bucks more for the 45, and that makes sense because it has to be built a little stronger to handle the 45 ACP. Glock mag included, Glock 21, and Glock 41. Sweet setup. I like the side charger that they have there, and then the bolt release, same as an AR. The optic that I have here is a Sightmark Mini Shot M Spec FMS A1. All right, that's a mouthful, but it is a new release from Sightmark. So far, I'm very happy with it. I have several Sightmark optics, and they have performed great for me. This comes with a riser, which I added. It also has a low rise mount, three MOA dot, 1632 battery compartment right there on top so you don't have to take it off to change out the battery. 10 brightness settings, shock proof, waterproof, and everything else. The MSRP is only 199. I think I'm going to add a couple more of these because it's priced right and it performs great. I sighted it in rather quickly. The EP45, along with the EP9, has a recoil dampening system that is a blowback design, but being such a lightweight firearm, it has like very little recoil. And I appreciate that. Now the EP9, I didn't notice it as much. Nine millimeter is a low recoiling round as it is. This I noticed, and the Forend hardly rises when, when shooting. Why do I like the X-Star pistols? Well, the AR light controls are very familiar to me, as I believe most shooters. I like the price and I like the weight for 500 bucks with this optic I have here that also has 
12 hour shut off. I think that's nice. It is a steal. I think it's a great deal for what they offer. I thought the same with the EP9. Love the Gen 2 model models that have been improved so much. And I love this. Now, I've only had this out twice, but it has fed, fired, ejected everything very well. The flash can is great. It is threaded on there. You can take that off and run a can if you like. You can put a front sight on there. You can put anything on the M-Lock slots. I like the Glock mags. And the Glock 21, I've got a Glock 41, same 13 round mags. That comes with three. I have four mags for this that is super nice. People love Glock mags. You can pick them up cheap and you can actually pick this up cheap and the optic up cheap and you could have the same setup right here. XR, getting it done, expanding their caliber offerings. They did some great work with this. That flash can looks super cool and they priced it right. I think this will do very well with today's shooters. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.